Yo, what is up guys, and I'm back with another YouTube video, and in this YouTube video, I will be unboxing a brand new monitor I just ordered. Well, I actually ordered it like two days ago, but it just arrived. So here it is, it's a Acer gaming monitor, it's 27 inches with 165 hertz. Right now, my current monitor, well, my main monitor, it's only 75 hertz, it's also 27 inches, and that one is 24 inches. With only 60 hertz but i'm going to be moving my current main monitor over here and i'm going to just use that for console gaming and then my new monitor is going to be my new main monitor so but here's my setup right now i haven't I've made an update video in a while but i moved that shelf over here for my boom arm my hyperx mic and the same headset and i got a new keycap so y'all already know and yeah, that's how my setup is looking right now. But I'm about to unbox this right now. All right, so I just opened the box and it's one of these packaging again where I'll probably have to like flip over the whole box to take it out. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so this is what I'm seeing right now. So this is like the base. Obviously, I'm not gonna need to stand at all because I'm putting it on the mount. But obviously, I'm not gonna get rid of it. Here's the arm of the mount. I'm just gonna leave those in the plastic. And then here's the adapter for it. I actually like these wires better than like a fat wire that like keeps on coming out. Wait, did it come with a display port? If it did, that's actually clutch. There's another cable right here. I think this is a display port. That's actually clutch for my PC because I'm probably gonna use some bad HDMI cable. This has like two HDMIs and then of one display port, but there's a monitor, so I gotta safely. Um, actually, I think I'm just gonna leave it in here for now. Let me just like take everything out of here, and I'll be right back. All right, so I just looked at all that. That's just like the normal instructions. But now I'm gonna take out both of the monitor. First, I'm just gonna take out my main monitor, and then I'm gonna like I gotta put that piece right here onto the back of that monitor. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so I took the monitor off and there's like two cables, the HDMI cable and the power cable. I gotta like take out, I, I like try to keep it cable managed, but it's just these clips, so it shouldn't be too hard, but I'll do that later. First, I'm gonna just take this bracket thing off with a screwdriver and then put it on the back of my new monitor. So it could actually go onto that. So I gotta obviously keep these screws. And now I gotta put this on the back of this monitor. So I'm gonna carefully do that. I'll just put it on now and then take the plastic off after. But it would go on just like this perfectly. All right, so the bracket is on there tight. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna leave this here for now, but I'm gonna take this monitor right here and I'm gonna just put it right here. So I'm gonna take this monitor off and then like put that one over there. And I'm just gonna put that off to the side because I'm just gonna use that for like my PS4 or something. And now I'll probably put it in my like bedroom now. So I just could like chill on the bed and play DJ or something on PS4. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Now both of the monitors are off the arms and this looks crazy. Like look at my cable management. All the wires on my PC have been hiding right behind my second monitor. And my new second monitor is like a lot bigger than my other one, so I'm probably gonna have to push the PC this way a little bit more, but it's fine. As long as these cables are hidden, I'm chilling. All right, so I installed my second monitor onto the right side of my monitor mount, and now on this left side, I'm gonna put in the new monitor. So I did have to move the PC a little bit this way, but it's fine. And this is like very big for a second monitor, but it's like, it's pretty good. All right, so I think I'm finished installing the new monitor to the mount. Hopefully everything's plugged in correctly, but I'm about to turn on the PC. Once I know like everything is working perfectly, then I'll take off the plastic. But yeah, it is curved. Let me show y'all. You could see the curve like that. It looks pretty clean, but I'm gonna turn on the PC now. All right, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, how do I, I don't know where the buttons is for the monitor, hold up. I do not know how to turn on the monitor. 
Oh yeah, it's all the way to the left. Acer. Um, I need to like set up the hertz and stuff and the quality for the monitors now. Oh crap. Um, yeah, I need to set this up. Um, I'm gonna set it up real quick and I'll get back to y'all. Alright guys, so I think I have the monitor all set up and it looks pretty nice. I really like the curve, but now it's time to take off the plastic wrap sticker things around the edges and I can't really find a spot to start peeling. So the plastic around the monitor was actually one big piece and this is like the last of it for y'all. Man, all the plastic is off and that looks clean. So I also put my monitor, or this one, at 165 hertz and I could already feel it with the mouse pointer. So if I go to display settings and then go to advanced display, 165 hertz. But for some reason, for this one, this is a 75 hertz monitor. When I go to display two, the highest I could go is 60 hertz for some reason. And this is actually a 75 hertz monitor. And I actually had that monitor at 75 hertz when it was my main. If y'all know how to like put it at 75, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, I'm gonna also I don't know if this is a Windows glitch, but like I don't know why it does this sometimes. It's weird. But um I'm gonna launch Fortnite and see how it runs. So I'm on Fortnite and I just cranked some 90s and this is actually really smooth. Y'all probably can't tell on camera, but I capped my FPS from 120 to 180 and it seems to work fine and it's actually really smooth. Obviously I'm like recording with my phone right now, so I actually can't crank, but like it's like really smooth. Um, I'm gonna try to like somehow get gameplay of me um, doing 90s by putting my phone in my mouth or something. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I put my phone in my mouth and that's so disgusting. But yeah, that is my brand new monitor. So if you're wondering what I'm gonna do with this 24 inch LG TV, it's actually, uh, it's not a monitor, it's actually a TV if y'all didn't know that. But I'm gonna be just like putting it in my personal bedroom and I'm just gonna like hook it up to a console like my PS4 and it'll be like a, just, you know, it's not gonna look clean at all. I'm just gonna like put it on top of a table and then, you know, yeah, so yeah, this is the curve if y'all wanna look at it again. There's my cable management. It looks worse now because of that cable. That's the wire of the actual monitor that goes down there. So yeah, but yeah, it looks pretty nice. That's where we should for today's video. Thank y'all so much for watching. If y'all have any questions, let me down in the comments down below. And yeah, um, drop a comment on what you think about this monitor. Like this one, if y'all were wondering about the pricing of this monitor, normal price for this monitor, $230 but on Walmart it was literally sale for $109. I don't know if the sale is still going but even if it is or if it's not I'm still gonna put the link of the monitor in the description but if it's that if the sale is still going I really recommend this monitor it's hella good for the price you're getting like a over a hundred dollar discount. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time. If you guys want, feel free to check out some of my other videos on screen now. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace!